Hi everyone, I'm Giant Spain. Welcome back to my Let's Play Chrono Trigger Edition, Part 11. We, uh, picking back up here where we left off, uh, fighting some bugs, making our way through the last half of, uh, this underground complex, um, in this particular, particular dome, looking for something to help its inhabitants, uh, you know, get themselves back into healthy and working order since they've been living off the Enertron, which doesn't provide them with sustenance, it just keeps their bodies from dying uh, due to lack of. So, let's see what we got through this door here after we beat up the giant robot boss in the first room. So we got some more robots hanging around down here. Mm. Well, yeah. I think there is something over here. Let's check. All these monsters are easily avoidable too. Uh, I was trying to look and see if I can look over there, but I can't. Oh well. I'll just run over here and see. Uh, uh, Alright. A little alternate pathway. Mm -hmm. Try to loop around. Or some uh, dummy and don't feel like checking the door there. Get my white robot. Yeah, you really, you really have to kind of go out of your way to get attacked by the robots in here. I mean, there's there's some shadows that are hanging out, but. forgot that you don't have to press the button to get into the door on the left because it just opens up the pathway to that little thing there that you can't do anything with yet, so it's alright though. I'm having a lot of brain farts at this stage of the game, but uh, we'll, we'll make it through. Computer's still operational. Work your magic, Nancy. East of Aristotle. Hmm. Looks like we gotta go over here. Check out. What is that? That's the protodome. Okay. I guess we gotta go there. Marley, what are you doing? Pressing buttons. You're not you're not Nancy, you're not a scientist. You know what you're doing? Visual record of the day of Lavos. Doesn't sound good. It sounds kind of ominous. Like it looks kinda of ominous too. It's this big fissure opening up in the Oh no. Oh my. There's nothing good about this. And no! Hmm. Straight up biblical Armageddon. Rain fire. Oh. I don't think there's anything in the Bible about a giant lava demon thing coming out of the ground, so. What do I know? Hmm. Only one thing we can do is to change history, just like we did when we, when we saved you. Okay? Yeah, sure, no sweat. Why not? I'm not doing anything. We're just hanging out here anyway. It's just a stroke of luck. Yeah, fuck it, let's go. Let's just take a second and do some more research. Next stop, Proto Dome. Dun da da! We got our. We got our. Uh, we got our getting shit done music on. Da 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 da. 
Oh, these fucking rats. Uh, oh, wait, rat. Those little sleeping shadow things. Which, of course, I'm not. Besides the. Fuck you, rat. Uh, oh. Some bitch. That's okay. Yeah, it's kind of weird on that one uh, robot attacks, it like turns the fog off for a second. It's all bright. Makes this place look not so dreary. Take care of our little rat friends right quick. Hmm. Yeah, see? There you go. A little laser shooting through two things. And then I was like, aha! What a dick. Alright, party guys. Onward and upward. Let's go find this proto dome. Avoid those robots, because we don't need the extra fights right now, wasting our time. Get out of the way, robot. Got place to go. I got time for you today. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna waste some time on a few bugs, but uh, it is what it is. What are you gonna do? Aha! Success! Chrono, you bastard. Hmm. Yeah, there you go. Smack him with your the edge of your gun or something. Smack him with the stock. The word was eluding me. Yeah. There you go, Nancy. Learn how to smack rats better. Alright. This guy is dumb. Let's go tell the people the good news. What's up, old man? Alright. That's true, we don't know how long that thing will hold out. Dude, that's been holding out for a while. L C. I like that. It's got a nice ring to it. Just might be our future kid. Oh, sweet, got a bike key. Hmm. Say L C. Ha ha. All right. Move, citizen. But first, let's go ahead and rest in the Endertron. Take all these things whatever you can. And I would use the save point, but I'm gonna have the world map, so I can just stay there. Now I'm gonna get lost again. Alright. I forget how much fun these old games were. I mean, some of them. Some of them are, are total crap, but like, you know, some of them, like this one, were, you know, stand the test of time. That's the sewer access. Uh, that's kind of like a side area thing. Doesn't really, I mean, it's long, so I just didn't feel like messing with it right now. I wanted to, uh, I wanted to move the story along. There's an interesting fellow in there, though. And I can completely glazed over that chest to the right as you walk in. There are little 
they, they blend in a little bit, so I was just like, did not notice it at all until I'm sitting here watching back over and recording the, uh, the sound. And also, in case any of you guys were wondering, I would prefer to record the sound, or what I'm saying, while I'm actually playing it, rather than watching the videos and commenting afterwards. Uh, but, uh, unfortunately, I have a small, like, one and a half to two hour block of time during the day, too. Uh, the, there's no construction going on, a lot of banging noises and stuff. So, uh, it's easier to just do them separately. Uh, that way I can get a whole bunch of game footage done, and then, uh, as I have, you know, like, each day I can record about six to eight episodes worth of commentary during the little, uh, their lunch break or, you know, whatever it is. And so, I try to make the most of that, and then I can edit the videos together at my leisure and have a nice little queue of stuff lined up so that, you know, the content keeps coming out pretty regular. I like to put out at least one or two videos a day. At least, at least one video a day. Um, preferably two. This part's kind of fun. Uh, it's, a, it's a quick little race. I think... I'm pretty sure you do it again later, too. Um, it was funny, somebody was saying, like, Oh, you need to use the turbo boost at the last minute to be able to win. That's the trick to winning. And I'm like... Okay, I use the turbo boost like once at the beginning, just to like, stay, because I thought I needed to get past him, but apparently you just are constantly, you know, just kind of looping around each other, so the real trick is just like, it's it's really hard to juggle him behind you, so the real trick is just to always, you know, anytime he loops in front of you, you just like, jump off to the, jump up or down, whichever side to just jump around him real quick. And then you see like there, I didn't have to use the boost at all to, to win the race. I got it just going around him, you know, in normal fashion, so... Worked out pretty well. And now, challenge me anytime, baby. Then I was gonna come out here and I was like, wait a second, I think there's a chest back there. First, let's go up there. Actually, first, let's save. <laughs> the factory up there. 2300. Yeah, we don't go in the factory yet. I think I think there's a chest in here somewhere, but I couldn't I couldn't find it. I just spent a lot of time fighting with these stupid mutants, which apparently you can't sneak past. Oh look, there's three of them. Three tomato monsters. Oh no! Time to squash them. Oh oh. Yeah. Annoyingly enough, they don't really stand close enough together to get hit by AOEs. So... That's a little tedious, but what are you gonna do? Gotta get the weapon upgrades, though. The uh, load sword and the load bow are very helpful. Goofy, goofiest tomatoes I ever seen. Oh no! He hits you with his tomato juice. There we go. Oh, there you go. I guess they really don't like lightning. Or whatever Marley's weapon seems to be. It's, I mean, it looks like it's all a lightning attack that shoots at him. But the weapons don't specify. Damage type. The characters have like elements above their heads when you look at them in the select, in the character select screen, but uh, you haven't actually gotten access to the 
magic. Yeah, you just have your combo techniques, which are, I guess, technically magic, but they're not, like, officially uh, considered magic by the, uh, as far as the game war is concerned. There's actually a whole separate uh, thing of stuff that you get later on. More mutants. Looks like a test this time, though. Oh no! Oh, there's the chest. See, I'm, I'm, I'm super blind. Like, I came over here to get the chest, and I totally didn't see it at all. And I fought all these damn monsters. I, I, not, not just these shadows. Um, the Sanctuary are close to me, so you just you know, overkill them really quickly. Uh, but also, fought more mutants that went like, all the way over to the other side of the map. Just wasting a bunch of time. But on the plus side, you know, it's experience and gold, so yeah. Basically, instead of getting what was in the chest, it was farmed by more money and XP. So it wasn't a total loss. Glass is half full. I mean, like, oh no, I wasted all this time. But eh. Still got something out of it, so it's fine. Freaking tomato monsters. Don't suck on Chrono like that. That's Marley's job. And, oh, headbutt. That concludes our Let's Play Chrono Trigger Part 11. Uh, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time, Part 12.